Are you one of the thousands of Americans suffering from an overstuffed holiday decor closet? Didn't you get a shed in your backyard? <laughs> Has your wife collected so much holiday stuff over the years that you had to rent a spot in a storage unit to keep that stuff? We built a new closet in the basement for the bins. Listen, this stuff can pile up very quickly. We all know this. Whether you're buying new trendy decor every year or you're hauling around the same stuff that your family has had around for the last 70 years. Well, Rebecca Sansone owns the Mustache Cat in St. Paul. This is a home goods shop. It specializes in curated and vintage pieces. And she's here with some tips to make seasonal decor shifts a little bit more approachable and a little bit more sustainable. Rebecca, how are you? Hi. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. So let me ask you, this is your shop. But yes. do you have a storage bin in your house? Do you have lots of them of your things? I have Are you like some me and Chris? bins. Okay. I, you know, I will admit, I have some bins. I've tried over the years to minimize the bins and think about swapping smaller items so that, you know, I can dedicate maybe one yeah. already made closet in the home <laughs> to the seasonal decor. You're not spending $100 a month on a storage <laughs> yeah. unit. So you're basically your, your premise is you can still... Uh, have your house feel a certain way for a certain season. season. You just don't have to have the entire home covered in said stuff, right? Correct. That's, that's what we're talking about? That's exactly right. Okay. Uh, and really, it starts with, in my opinion, a classic timeless base. Okay. So start with something like you've got a very simple vase in front of you, white. You can put whatever filler you want in there. You went with the red, white, and blue I for did. the holiday. I did. I'm feeling a little jazzy Fourth about of July the Olympics. Holiday. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay. Very, there you, go. you know, go Team USA. Yep. Um, so I actually swapped out these bright colors that I I had uh, in there for uh, summer and spring and threw a little red, white, and blue. Now with a simple base like that, whether it's glass, whether it's white, whether it's wood, you can really put different filler in there mm -hmm. and have it look totally different. And this would be on a, on a table, on a, where would this, yes. se a center, central location or what? Yeah, I think that's another really nice uh, way to kind of simplify your swaps is to think about easy areas in your home to swap. So yep. I like to do it on my coffee table. It's kind of center of the home, yep. something I'm right in front of, especially as I'm watching all of these Olympics currently. Um, but it, you get the most bang for your buck in those centralized locations, uh, shelves or your mantle, again, kind of that centralized mm -hmm. spot, um, or in your kitchen, on your counter, in kind of the middle of mm -hmm. your space. Really, the theme of this is middle of your home, bang for your buck. Well, and talk about bang for your buck. I mean, you swapped out just red and blue napkins, but then those are practical and you get to use them later. So it's not wasting. You don't have to store them. Yep. And get those at the Great dollar store and, for a dollar, right? Yeah. So. Yes, or at the mustache cap. Yeah, yeah. You, sell those, <laughs> you sell those kinds of napkins? Sure do. Oh, they're cute. Yes. They're, they're vintage. Yeah, we do a modern mix uh, with items from women makers or women owned businesses. Yeah. Uh, and so, yeah, we've always got a little kind of fun twist on, on the modern stuff. Nice. Yeah. All right, tell us about this next little set that you have right. going on here. So, the idea there is swapping one item, something very simple. In this case, the tray, right? The underlying yep. piece. So, you can move from something like this wood piece behind you to a tray, have it feel Really simple, but again, totally shift to that like patriotic It's cohesive mindset. as you go about your house, you but it's not it. screaming Olympics or 4th of July or whatever yes. the holiday is. Yes, I'm all about simplicity, and I think it really starts with a minimizing the number of swaps you're trying to do, and did I say one or A? Well, B or matter. two, um, <laughs> uh, having uh, stuff that makes those swaps easy. So right behind there, you've got a magnetic photo this frame. Guy. Yep, I've got a couple in front of me as well. We were talking about the U.S. hockey team, right? So uh, you just unsnap this frame and you can swap items in and out. So, well, that's an easy way. So yeah. simple. And you can have a totally different vibe or feel. So I may be happy to rep Mary Lou Retton and the fabulousness of her vibe yeah. all the time. Um, but maybe I want to swap it out for a different season. Maybe I go something state fair. Maybe I go something a little more holiday. Um, but small, simple, 
easy. And how easy was that? I mean, you're not messing with the things in the back. You're not getting the picture perfectly. You're not trying to tape things together. It's literally like magnet. No, and I think That's art super fun. can be really unapproachable in that way. You feel like once you have a piece of art, it's set in your home forever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It doesn't have to be that way if you start with the pieces that make it simple. You could even do. take stuff from a magazine, cut it out to fit this, yep. and put it in there. Yeah, we use postcards. We use old advertisements. Um, modern art, in this case, done by uh, a local artist, Christy Abbott. There are uh, a bunch of different ways to reuse these very simple, small frames. What are some of the other things you put together over here? So we've got uh, some pretty simple swaps in terms of plants and planters. One of my favorite tricks is to leave a pot or a plant in its nursery pot. Oh, the so plastic that, one yeah. that comes in. You don't okay. have to totally commit to yep. the planter. And I could very simply swap it into something for new. a completely yeah. different look. Correct. So this might feel a little summer spring. This may feel a little more classic. Uh, but by keeping it in its original spot, I can make these changes really simply. One thing that I noticed when we walked up to the table is the smell. And your candles <laughs> smell so good. Yeah. I remember Thank that you. from last time you visited. Thank and that's you. a big way to kind of change the feel of a home, too. 100%. I like to think about using all of your senses when it comes to swapping your decor. Scent is absolutely one of them. So in my opinion, kind of that fresh, citrusy vibe, which is definitely what we have going on here today, feels energizing and like summer. You might get a little cozier and softer when we get into fall or winter. Yeah. Um, maybe a, a little kind of seasonal, uh, holiday, spicy yeah. uh, when we get closer to the end of the year. Mold wine, um, but right. scent is a great way. Sound, so put on your favorite playlist in the mm -hmm. summer to me. Again, I'm like upbeat, energized. Maybe I'm feeling a little patriotic and like putting my favorite pump up songs mm -hmm. on right now, uh, but having a playlist that uh, fits the vibe of what you're going for. Um, and then also touch and feel. So having fabrics around that align with the seasons, maybe swapping out some of the heavy wools or yeah. velvets for something light. lighter. Yeah. Yes, linens. linens and stuff. You yeah. got it. Um, so we do a lot of that with pillows and again, I would never worry about this big guy in the back or the f changing out your full situation. Just Good. do the small ones. Perfect. <laughs> Rebecca, lots stuff, of great Rebecca, tips. Thank you. thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. The Mustache Cat is open Wednesdays through Sundays right there in St. Paul.